Hello everyone, Busy Gamer Dad back again, and I have a very important question to you about clothing. What do lawyers wear to work? Lawsuits. Aha, there we are. Don't worry about wearing specific clothes to the office today. You're here with me relaxing after a busy day. You want to unwind. You want to have a good time. And this week on our session gameplay series, I hope I can bring you just that. Today we're going to be taking a look at God of Weapons. And I think that's a really good addition for our session gameplay series on the Busy Gamer Dad channel, where we're going to take a look at this game over the course of three episodes, about 20 to 30 minutes, see if it's something that you already owned and want to comment on and let me know the meta of, see if it's something you had uh, in your backlog on your wish list or something and you wanted just a little bit more information and this reminds you that it exists, or if it's something you just don't care about and otherwise you'll click off the video. Uh, any of the above. So God of Weapons, I did a test play. It is basically um, the vampire survivor um, kind of equivalent of things. And what's going to happen is you're going to see top down or isometric. And we're going to run around an arena. We're going to fight some enemies. But there's a cool mechanic here where we actually augment our weapons. And every run, depending on the gold you get, you hit a little uh, cash shop in between levels. Um, it's actually really fun. I think the, the RNG and the uh, gamify of the... Uh, weapons you can get towards the end of the run and I beat it on my first run I'll have you know I didn't record it but you have to take me on my word for that I beat it on my first run the the very first character as the uh, the knight and I beat it on the very first difficulty right here I'm not gonna do the eldritch knight uh, I'm gonna move over to the, the it looks like there's a raven character um, I'm not certain what they're all about and there's a warlock character that I unlocked oh I didn't even see the hunter maybe that's though no, this is the okay rogue ranger wizard got it cool but as you can see there's a whole bunch of other characters that you can play through and that augments your play style just like um any type of archetype character you would your knight has a lot of uh hp and armor um moves a little bit slower i'm fairly certain that the assassin's gonna move really quick um has a little less armor yep starts with an extra dagger and then our hunter what do they have there i'm very intrigued ranged weapons cannot equip melee weapons projectile modifiers cool awesome and then warlock is magical spells of course makes sense so i will have a comment or i will have the description for the game and the link for the game should you want to pick it up and the uh, youtube comments are wishlisted to pick it up when it's on sale that's what i did i picked this up when it was on sale for like 30% off or something like that so it was only like 10 bucks or less or something like that at this point because I like you don't have a lot of time to play video games and that's kind of why I started the channel you know already being busy I added one more thing to my plate but I think that I want to show people that you can still play video games to unwind and that you can still have a good time with it and relax you can play long format games you can play visual novel games you can play these types of games you can play league of legends or first person shooters you can just relax sit down unwind have a lean forward experience if you're looking in for the first person shooters uh have a lean back experience if you're looking in for the the visual novels that you read through but just use the games as a way to unwind from being busy that's the only thing i really want to impart to you doesn't matter if you are a lawyer doesn't matter if you are a dad doesn't matter if you're a college student everyone gets busy and everyone needs to unwind so without any further ado an intro we'll get ourselves into our play i was gonna do raven but i don't know this hunter character seems like it's speaking to me i want to try this out and i may crash and burn horribly so there seems to be a meta progression here currency that i'm not entirely sure how to use and i wish i knew how to use it uh because that might help out tremendously for any of these next runs um that we're going to go into but oh well we'll just kick it off and see what we get um, it looks like there are different aspects. I'm assuming that, much like the knight, they're different um, flavors of the same character. So, uh, let's see here. Starting weapon, starting weapon, starting weapon. Which one do I want? I don't want... No, I don't want that. The antler. Attack speed. That sounds pretty interesting. Or all these my starting weapons. Do I get to pick? Automatic crossbow. The, yes. So I didn't, like I said, I'm very new to this game. This video is like the intro, like the tutorial. There is no tutorial. You just get dropped in and you get said, good luck. Um, I did not pick up any ranged weapons. Adjacent weapons game. That seems like it's pretty huge. Like this seems like I don't want, and I don't have the option to change this anyway. So fair enough. But these look like I can change. Um, 31. This looks like scatter shot. 10% stacking damage, double projectile for each adjacent projectile weapon. 
rapid fire and crossbow adjacent melee weapons this won't help us because we can't equip melee weapons so we kind of have to look over that one um let's see here cooldown is after six shots last hit is critical and stronger that sounds pretty interesting i think i want to go with our rapid fire though because i feel like tying that in or maybe just the standard scattershot crossbow Let's leave it on the standard scattershot crossbow. I'm not gonna up the difficulty. I'll just leave it on this right now, uh, being that I'm on the, uh, you know, on the beginning steps of, st steps of this. Uh, let's see here. So now that I've selected my character, I'm gonna go into our dungeon. And so this is it. This is the entire game. You have uh, an arena This is, that you navigate, you run around. You do not want to get touched by anything. There is damage on touch. Uh, there are projectiles that you will have to dodge from the enemies. Looks like there is no overpenetration for this. I don't know if there's going to be weapons that do have an overpenetration mechanic. Um, we do have significantly less health than our warrior friend, but we'll get through this floor and then it looks like we're clear. And we didn't gain as much of a level as I would like. I wanted to get another level up. Um, so right off the bat, this reminded me of like Backpack Hero or um, Backpack Auto Battler, where you have these slots that you're trying to pick out and uh, get as much in your um, loot crate as possible. So every time I click one of these, they're going to be uh, randomized where it goes to next. So I'm going to try and look here. Bless Staff. This one here is kind of what I want, or maybe just another one of these guys. So how can I get another one of these? If I get, so I have three and two, I already have enough space, so I think I'm okay. So I want to try and grow in this direction here. All right, and then I'm going to move this right here, that right there, and I don't have enough. No, I do have enough right there. And so I'll put this right there, and now those two are getting buffs off of each other. Dodge chance, melee attack, magic attack. I don't really need that. Um, and I don't have enough space for that. So I'm not even going to bother re-rolling. I'm going to hold off on that and see what we can do. So uh, now, again, this is all it is. Right here, you're just running around trying to dodge the enemies. Um, these little guys are deceptively fast. They will charge at you. Um, and especially at later dungeons, they also get a little bit more health. I picked up a, uh, a banner for the knight that was kind of fun. Um, it doubled the amount of reward that I could get and dodge through and get the money. Um, but at the same time, there was a r risk mechanic to it. Like the, there was more plentiful monsters and I almost lost the run because I had way too many on my, uh, on my board. I could not, uh, basically see what I was doing. Um, a throwing X. That sounds very interesting. And this, let me see here. So we have to do our level up first anyway. So let's loop this around there grow in that direction and then these are not really uh i don't want that because that's not that's more for um uh, melee weapons uh we have two more let's go left and right here there okay cool now the throwing axe that looks like the most interesting to me uh range four so i'm gonna do that can i do that no, I can't do that. Oh, I wish I could do that. Oh, I can do that. I just have to do a little bit of this right here. There. There. So adjacent axes does full damage and pierces everything on crit. Cannot bounce. Okay, that's fine. So if I get another one of these, that's going to be super helpful because that over penetration is probably going to be um, really critical for overall success because the enemies stack up um like it's their job in later uh, uh encounters or later levels they just have a lot of a lot of stiff chin enemies uh mixed in with uh, weaker enemies uh like casters in the backfield and everything like that the game does a really good job of keeping it fresh for the enemy density and enemy variation uh, also the barrels are really um uh critical i have i don't know if you've been seeing me hit those but that's where that little stack of money came from and that's where the uh food came from last time you want to make sure that you're hitting the barrels. You want to make sure you're doing what you need to do to capitalize on the successes there. Now, I do want to get this. So I have to think of a way to get this guy in my inventory. Yes, this will then give us a tier two crossbow. So 
This is also like any of the um, auto battler games that you might have seen, where if you get three of the same level of weapon, you can combine them into a level two, and then three level twos into a level three, three level threes into a level four, so on and so forth. Um, really helpful, really uh, meta to get yourself where you need to be um, and uh, in strength and everything like that. I'm going to try and do that, and that should get us what we need because what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this, right click this, and I'm going to put this outside. So you can only put one weapon outside your box and then you can bring in something else right there. And so now I'm going to combine and then click combine for that. And now we've got a level two right there. Um, do I want to, I'm going to put this right here for now. We kind of lost the bonus. Uh, I could get another. It's critical. Do I want this? Minus five range, but eight. No, I don't really want that. I think our strength lies in our attack speed at this point. Rerolling for seven gold doesn't sound terrible. Oh, there's another one. So I'm going to grab that for now. Um, Let me... Again, let me put this outside and then I'll just drop this right there. So now those two are buffing each other. And then there's another axe. Can I get that in here? I don't No, I can actually, I can right there. Bam, nice. Um, vitality, I don't wanna, I haven't tried magic too much. I, I've been a little hesitant to try the magic. Um, that's just on me. I don't know if it's because I just don't know how well it would go against like certain things um, Because the magic to me seems like it's weak and that could be something that's like a scale factor thing that I just don't understand uh, Because it could be really OP if you start getting like level twos or level threes of the staves and rods and various other things like that So you want to make sure that we're um, dodging and we have two dodges. I took some damage there, but I got, uh, got the shield uh, I am playing this on mouse and keyboard, just so you know. Uh, I don't know if there's controller support. It would stand to reason that there is, but that might be something that is not uh, fact factual. So quote me on that. Um, this is actually huge. This right there. Uh, you Anytime you see an arcane anvil, you want to pick it up. Um, but first and foremost, we need to spend our spaces. So I'm going to go... These are so... just The ranged weapons are so much bigger and awkward. Um... Let me think here. Movement and speed, crit speed, armor. The monocle is not a bad addition. Okay, so I'm going to actually go across the top here. I think that's what I want to do. Can I go up? I can. Okay, good. All right, so I want to pick up the anvil, and then I want to actually use the anvil, upgrade another item right there. And now we have two level twos right out of the gate. We didn't have to spend or fish or anything like that. Um, I'm going to grab the monocle and I don't know if I want, I mean, adjacent melee weapons, it, this, we don't have melee weapons. We can't have melee weapons as the range guy. So I don't really see a benefit to that. Um, there's a level two ax right there. Now I don't think I can combine these. Yeah. It's not going to let me combine them. That, that's fine. That's all good. Um, and then more barrels appear on the floor. That would be kind of helpful. Can I get that in here somewhere? I don't think so. So I'm just going to leave it alone. Uh, we'll leave the money where it's at. But we got that. We got that. Could I in theory change this up? No, I'm going to move on. I don't want to waste your guys' time. So in the, the first levels that you do, there's 20 floors um, you, and there's a boss at the end of the 20th floor. And that boss is a boss. It is really hard. Um, I had to change my entire strategy up of just like almost tank and spank run around the room um, to uh, scream, run for my life, and then hope for the best as my weapons whittled down the fodder that was around him and then got uh, a couple opening shots onto him. Um, so yeah, you really want to make sure that your um, strategy works out for the best uh, play style that you have uh, presented to you, no matter what the situation. Uh, level two, they're really forcing these hand crossbows. Oh, here's another one. I don't think we're going to have enough space to get this, though. It would be very lucky if we got that. 
but I don't see us doing that. Yeah, I don't see how we can kind of crowbar that in. Oh, I shouldn't have taken that one. I should have taken that one. Such a silly, silly mistake. Um, recovery is okay. These would be really helpful. We don't have any other daggers, though. I would really like to get this in there. Again, we could ditch one of these and then reorganize a little bit. Let me see here. If I put that up there, put this down here in the corner, and then this. This is like the, the if you love fiddly diddly inventories, this is the game for you. You absolutely should get this game. Um, if you hate fiddly diddly inventories, then don't get this game. That's entirely what this game is about, um, is just being all up in the minutia of, oh yeah, I can crowbar that in there. I can fit this here. And then that just got everything here, I think. Yeah, so there's that. I don't know. Yeah, I think we might have to ditch an ax though, which is really kind of heart-wrenching. I wonder if we lock this and we go fishing, we can get another ax. And we did, and it's a level two. Okay. Uh, and then we got a sling. That's actually kind of a ruined bow piece. Um, let's see here. This is helpful for experience, but you lose resources. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sell an axe. Yes. And I'm going to pick this and I'm going to spin it there. Dodge chance, dodge chance. Yep. Because I don't, I mean, I could potentially do something like this and then maybe something can go in the middle there range but damage is increased that's not really super good for us let's reroll one more time the shield is kind of helpful it blocks four damage and we don't have any other way to mitigate damage so i'm going to pick that up for now just to hold it yeah i don't really see uh Yep, I don't really see a way to get this in here right now. That's a, that's a bummer. I'm not going to fish anymore. I'm not going to waste my money. All right, cool. But um, the I know the burning question that a lot of you might have for this game, if you haven't even seen this game or ever seen this game, is how good is the AI um, uh, targeting? And the, the answer is it's pretty darn good, actually. It's actually very good. Um, you don't have control over where you're uh, aiming. You just have control of where you're moving. And the AI is really smart. It prioritizes uh, targets very well. I think they did a very good job with navigating that or programming that. You want um, something that uh, feels smart and safe. That's kind of where this is at in a good mix because it knows when things are attacking you. Like, I don't know if you saw it, but there was a bug flying at me and it prioritized proximity, but it still didn't over damage um, and really uh, uh, hinder the overall performance on things. Uh, let's see here. Oh, it locked that for the next roll? That's actually really cool. I did not know it did that. All right, so we got another four. I'm going to do this right here. And we have enough to get this and this. So why not? You know, and then do we get an anvil? No, no anvil. That'd be crazy if we got an anvil. Um, movement and luck. That's kind of huge. Movement speed is definitely what you need um, in this game above all else. Uh, you really want to make sure that you're um, smart about where you have uh, yourself positioned and movement speed really does help that. Now, we have a big question to answer is, do we want the hunter's cap? Because we are playing the hunter. Um, resources are is huge though. I think this is a really good idea over this one because I don't know how I would even crowbar that in. I guess I could move this over there. And then that would do, let me see here. What is this going to do? So if I move this here, there, I could put, yeah, it really doesn't help too terribly much. There's no way to get that in here. So I'm just going to get that. Um, I'm going to hold the hunter's cap for now. And then what is this? Oh, wow. Resources gained. That's a huge, but I don't know a huge amount of resources, but I don't know how to get that. So well, we'll 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 continue on our merry way. Alrighty, off we go, smashing and grabbing, doing really well, I think. Oh, those little roly poly jerks right there. Oh, they are jerks. They are absolutely jerks. 
That's why. They speed at you. And if you're not careful about their uh, attacks from far away, they will just end your... I, when I did my first run, I got down to like 15 HP because there are like four of them that just like all of a sudden like uh, one after the other, boom, 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 boom. So right that, right like that, right like that. And they were out of my guys' um, range for attacks. They only got hit when they swept through. So keep in mind, be careful. That's all I can say about that. And there's our tier three. So what I'm going to do here, here, there. Ethrowear. Nice. Okay, so then if I take you, put you outside, buy you, drop you there, do the combined, and then click and click, and then combined right there, bam. So there's our tier three. And let's see, do I want more barrels per floor? That's not a bad idea. Um, let's get this where it needs to be. Let's get this where it needs to be. Right there, right there. I don't know. Don't know. Um, recovery movement speed. Recovery is your life regeneration. Um, it's a passive stat. You can do life steal or you can do life regeneration. Um, there are a lot of ways to get it. You just got to make sure that you're on the lookout for it. Uh, dodge chance, spyglasses, 10% more range. That's actually kind of big. Um, crit and luck. I'm going to buy this for now just to hold on to it. And I'm going to see if I can get something else. Dodge chance, dodge chances. So those two kind of cancel each other out in a sense. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, what is this? This is a tier three. Oh, that's a huge hit to our range. And that's like our main thing. So hard no on that. Um, one more reroll. Another crossbow. And another axe. So let's hold on to those two. And let's pick up this guy. And then we're going to call that good there. And we'll go on to the next floor. Yep, yep, hitting things. These guys have a pretty stiff chin on them. Uh, as you can see, it takes a bit of a uh, uh, time to take them down, whittle them down. And if you get swarmed by them, they will end your run. I, uh, I can only stress that from what I would surmise because you can bait out their hit like that, but you wanna make sure that you're not standing in it too long or getting surrounded because again, there is damage on touch. And I just ate that food that I did not want to eat. So now I got the uh, immunity right there, and then I'm gonna dodge through here, and I'm gonna this immunity right here, and I'm gonna come back through here, and I'm gonna go this way, and then come back this way. Oh geez, yep. Oh dear, oh dear, too many, too many. I do not have enough damage right now. I do not have enough damage right now. Yep, damage on touch is not fun. Woo -hoo. Yep, I definitely do not have enough damage. I need to get as much uh, damage as I possibly can. So if I drop those right there, only two. Oh, that's so unlucky. Um, if I drop you here and I pull you in, is this helpful? There, if I get those, yes, that's helpful. I'm going to unlock this. Let me reroll. Oh, of course. Of course, there's another one. So I'll drop that one there. Um, you can't upgrade armor from what I've seen. So keep that in mind for yourselves in i don't know if there is a class or character that does uh what i'm gonna do is movement speed is slowed what's our movement speed at right now five let's see how bad this goes because this could end our run and that's fine we're coming up on our time together anyways so i want to see how this goes oh i feel it i feel that that's not in a good way not in a good way uh, the werewolves, if they get on you, they will also eat your face. So you want to make sure you're kind of prioritizing them, but staying away from them. Uh, we got 30 seconds left to survive. I want to try and get through that as about as quick as possible. Stand on this side, keep on hitting them right there. Get all these guys. Looks to be prioritizing the barrel there, which is kind of unfortunate. Because I would have liked them to prioritize the, uh, the group that's bearing down on my face and trying to eat my flesh. Kiting around, kiting around. Uh, oh yeah, definitely get this. Swing back here, get the food. Not that we really needed it. All right, so that wasn't terrible, but I could ra I could really feel our movement speed um, suffering from this. So I wonder if there's some better way to, to increase our movement speed. Um, this is actually a pretty good get. For other adjacent gloves, increased crit chance. So that's a really nice thing, but I don't have any other gloves. 
but still, this is still a nice uh, uh, comeuppance. Uh, resource gain. We have a lot of money right now, so I don't really need it. I think I might sell this. Eh. No, I'm going to unlock that so that we can start getting some. Actually, if I do... No, I don't think I can. Can I? If I put that out or if I put that out, can I get the crossbow in here? Yeah, so if I do this, sell you, put this out. Um, well, I have, can only have one thing out at a time. Uh, there, and then there, there we are. Okay, combine these right there, combine that. Nice. Okay, so there's that. Put this down in the corner, bring this back in, and that opened up a huge amount of space for us to re-roll and see what we get. A tier three axe or another crossbow. Oh, they're making me want the things, all the things. Oh, that's so mean. Ah, how can I get the axe in here? It's facing down, so I can't, I don't think. It has to be like that. Or like that. I wonder if I just spin, spin you, put you there, spin you, put you there, put the axe here. Or do I get rid of this entirely? Because movement speed is kind of my thing that I need right now. I don't want to leave this. I don't. So I'm just going to actually do this right like that. Bam there. And then uh, let's do another reroll and see what we get just a tier one ax there. Is that a glove? Nope. That's not a glove. Projectile power. You know what? Let's try it out. Let's see what this does for us. We'll fill up our slots here and see what happens. So we're able to get a, a pretty good boon out of that actually. And we're at the midway point too. Uh, I don't remember if there's a mini boss. Um, we are definitely doing a lot more damage. Uh, that looks to be like a mini boss to me. He looks very angry at me. He looks like um, he looks like uh, Daredevil or something like that. Uh, no health bar on him. I would like to see that. Yeah, that is a mini boss. That is absolutely a mini boss. I did not register him last time when I was coming through here. We have 35 seconds left to live. Break 100 barrels. Cool. We're awesome. Oh, we did get him. We got him. He must have died off camera. <laughs> the tragic end of all the. No, he's right there. He's right there. So, <laughs> win by avoidance, is that really what this is going to be all about right now? If I can't finish him, do I win by avoidance? I'm going to actually do this. I'm actually going to try and get this, and then dodge out. Yep, and try and get him over here, and then pick up this. I want to see if I can finish him. I don't think I'll be able to. That'd be really good if I could, but it doesn't look like I was able to. All right, well, this was Busy Gamer Dad showing you God of Weapons. Pretty relaxing game, honestly, very low key. If you've played Vampire Survivor or any auto battlers or things like that in that line, this is exactly like that. A lot of um, backpack hero influences, I think, on this uh, game as well, where you've got this uh, uh, loot box that you're trying to grow and cram as much uh, firepower as you can in and combine the weapons uh, to the max level you can, as well as you're um, trying to avoid. Uh, enemies, you know, risk reward mechanics, trying to get the resources and everything like that. This is a fiddly diddly inventory. There's a lot going on. And I think that a lot of people will find that they have something in this game that they really gravitate towards and like doing. So that's why I think it's a really good game to cover for our, our session gameplay series, where we'll take a look at it uh, over the next three episodes, two episodes, I should say, because this was episode one. So like, comment, subscribe so you can stay up to date on those episodes. Feel free to leave a comment if you have played this game, if I'm missing something really important. Um, and I hope to catch you in the next two episodes. Later.